Hey, Claude Pollan here, affiliate starting line. Welcome. This is uh, part one of the ScreenFlow video series, and we're going to be talking about the last two functions we have over here on the right hand side in the palette area. One function is called audio properties, and the next function is called video properties. What these two properties do is set markers, one in the audio channel, one in the video channel, and then you can do certain things around those markers. So let's take a look. In the audio channel, I come up here and I'm, let's say I start playing my video. Hey, Claude Pallon here, affiliate starting line, and welcome. This is going to be a video about screen. Let's say at this point, uh, for whatever reason, I would want to dip the audio. I would click audio action. You're going to see a yellow marker appear, in the, and then I'm going to take my volume and bring it down to 25% of what, uh, what it was. So now at this point, screen it's going to be dipping a piece of screen capture software. And then let's say in another part of the action, I want to bring it back up. I would click, click my audio action button. It would put a marker. And then this time I'm going to bring up my volume to 150% and roll it. Telestream. And it is. So now just to give you an idea. Here, here we go. A video about screen flow. Screen flow is see it dips it under. Screen capture software produced by Telestream dips it up. And then there are other things you can do here with ducking, etc. But these are functions you can pick up as uh, you, you get more sophisticated. I keep things real simple, so I, you know I don't worry about a lot of this unless I really need to know it. But that's what this function does. Now, the video part of it does exactly the same thing. You're coming over here, it will create them. If you click this add video section, you're gonna see a marker pop up and you can do a few things. You can scale. Now, what you can also scale with your mouse. So let's say you wanted to zoom in to this area right here. So you can do that. And then uh, we won't worry about these right now. So just, just to show you produced by Telestream. It zooms and in. it is used to create videos. You can put another marker, and let's say you want it to pan over to this section, because you're talking about it. Uh, online, it is a Mac application. Uh, there. Then you take another it's video action, it just created a third one here, and this time we're gonna zoom back out to where we were. Or close to it. There is one uh, similar. Okay, so now let's take a look and see what we created from the video standpoint. We zoom in, we pan over, we zoom out. So if you go back here and you play your production, you start with audio at a certain level, It dips down. That's where we taught the audio marker. It dips up. It zooms in. It pans over. Zooms back out. So there we have it. That's what these two functions do. The audio sets the uh, a marker so you can do certain things with the audio track, like dipping it under. You can duck it under and, and bring up another track if you want. There's a lot of ways of doing that, uh, but uh, that's for another video. And then the video section here, you can zoom in out, and then you can also control the rotation of your video. Uh, you can, on the one axis, you can rotate it on another axis. Uh, here's the Z rotation. So you can, you know, you can do all sorts of stuff with your, your videos. You can come down here and create, you know, control the aspect ratio. Uh, let me get this so that you can somewhat see it. There's a lot of stuff you can do with it here, which is really amazing. And uh, there we go. So you can see what you can uh, play with. Uh, you can set a reflection if you want. You click the reflection box and bring it up here. Now there's a reflection in the audio. Let me, let me show you how it looks. There we go. Uh, you can create shadows. 
you can offset things, you can create, uh, you can control saturation, brightness, etc. That's, you know, a lot of stuff you can do here. So uh, that's what the video property uh, pr section does, and then the audio, prop audio properties, we talked about it. That's what these two functions do. And, uh, you know, you can go in there and play around with it, set your markers, uh, control your volume, move your video around, and uh, see how it really works. And that's it. I hope this has been helpful. This is Claude Polano, Affiliate Starting Line. Stay with it, stay well, and we'll talk to you soon.